So if you want to add effects to your microphone or uh, audio devices, then you've come to the right place. Um, I recommend you check out this previ previous video. Um, and I can put a card up at the top right there um, to this video, and I'll put it in the description as well. Um, but uh, you want to click this link in the description, and it'll take you to here. And then once you download that, uh, you, ha you should have a folder once you install the program that looks similar to this. You won't have all of these, but... So the first thing you want to do is click on the configurator and then uh, select the audio device that you want to use. Uh, right now I have my headphones and then I have it on my microphone. And then once you do that and then you close out, it'll ask you to re reboot. Um, and rebooting would be the easiest way to do it but if you don't want to reboot then what you can do is you can run a uh, command prompt as admin and then once you do that you can do net start audio serve or actually you want you'll want to stop first so run net stop audio serve and then run net start audio serve and that should um, be, that should have the same effect as a reboot. So once you've done that or you have rebooted, then you can run the editor. And then it'll look something like this. And then uh, what you can do is you go down here, you add a VST plugin. And then once you do that, um, you'll get something that looks like this. And then if you click on this icon right here, you can select. The VST plugin file that you have um, from the previous video, it would be this um, RN noise uh, denoiser. Um, but you can use you can use any VST plugin you have um, as long as it's sixty four bit. So, for example, I have this one right here. This is from FL Studio, uh, but uh, yeah, we can open the panel for it. And then it has a bunch of weird stuff that you can do with it. Like this is a reverb. I don't. I, I can't hear it, so I don't know what it sounds like. But yeah, th there's a bunch of stuff you can do. That you don't just have to do um, denoising. Um. So yeah. So now uh, you can use this program, and as long as it is running, um you will have the effect on your microphone or uh, audio device. You can even use it on uh, your headphones or your speakers or whatever. And so now you can, uh, you can use this like inside a video game. You can have uh, effects on your microphone. Um, if I find a VST plugin that does, um, if, if I find one that does a, uh, What's it called? Uh, like uh, this. Um, this is a pitcher. This doesn't actually work. I don't know why. Um, but uh, there's another one that I have that also doesn't work. And this one is called G Snap. Um, it's a. Uh, I can't think of what it's called. If you look it up, you'll see it's a. Uh, it basically it snaps your um, voice to specific uh, notes. Uh, T Pain uses it. You know what I'm talking about. I just can't think of what it's called. Um, for some reason, so this one does pop up and it looks like it works, but um, I don't think it works for some reason with this program because my voice probably does not sound. Um, like you know auto-tuned that's what it's called yeah so i don't know why this doesn't seem to be working um maybe it is i won't know until i listen back to the audio but uh, anyways yep that's how you have add effects to your audio devices in real time so thanks for watching